will be translated to the forward end of the recovery vessel, and that is where our Crew-9 uh, team members will egress from the Dragon spacecraft. Now, here on your screen, we can see uh, dolphins, actually, <laughs> who want to come and play with, uh, with Dragon. Now, one of the fast boats there in place working to assist the recovery team member. It's incredible. I just love these, these views. We really see them even better in daytime, but just seeing the recovery team work in tandem to uh, step through each step, uh, or excuse me, to step through each operation. Um, and, uh, you know, obviously they're, they're getting quick assists from the honorary part of the recovery team, those dolphins uh, in the water there. Now the, the, recovery crew mem team member that is crawling around the Dragon spacecraft. Uh, earlier we saw a view where it was like a spider monkey pose. Um, we can see that individual now standing in the bucket where the main parachutes were stored while Dragon was on orbit. Obviously those main parachutes were utilized for splashdown today. Uh, they were deployed and cut from the Dragon capsule. Uh, and one of the fast boats, in the, uh, one of the other fast boats of the recovery team working to pull those out of the water. Now the recovery team member that is there working on top of the Dragon capsule. Earlier we saw that person performing safety checks. Now we can see some harnessing being placed around the capsule. This harnessing is what will be used to lift the Dragon capsule out of the water and onto the recovery vessel. Wow, we got a cute little pod of dolphins. It wasn't just one or two. I mean, that water just looks beautiful. We had ideal uh, splashdown parameters today. Obviously, wave height, there a concern. Um, the weather is beautiful, as Jaden mentioned, in the 60s, sunny. Looking forward to seeing Crew 9 exit the capsule here shortly once they get hoisted onto the recovery vessel, Megan. We can see that recovery vessel slowly but surely closing the distance there between, oh, dolphin cam back again. <laughs> uh, we, can, we can see uh, that the Dragon capsule and the recovery vessel, that distance is closing. Again, this is just one more step as we continue to work recovery operations for Dragon Freedom. Uh, and we anticipate uh, the lift of the Dragon capsule to occur here in just a few minutes. Now once uh, all of the rigging is on the capsule and it's hooked up to the recovery vessel, we will see the hydraulic arm, which is that kind of like bridge-like structure there at the aft end of the recovery vessel. We'll see that articulate backwards and um, that's a good sign that we're, we're getting even closer to pulling the capsule out of the water. It will then uh, move forward and uh, the capsule will be placed inside of what you can see there is basically a basket. We call it the nest, uh, dragon nest, where that's where the capsule will, will be placed uh, in order for it to be translated to the forward end of the, of the vessel and for the astronauts to egress.